What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So, today you've read the title, you're talking, well, you're talking, we're talking about my old bike, the KTM Duke 125. Now, I've made quite a few videos, as you can see, with this bike. This was my first kind of big bike, started off the YouTube channel on it, you know, it, it well I say big bike, but from a, from a scooter to a, like, you know, a, a 125, like, it feels like a bigger bike, you know what I mean? So this bike meant a lot to me, and after I sold it, I sold it to, you know, upgrade, and I up sold it and then bought an R3. Uh, I regretted it, I wish I'd just, you know, saved the money so I could buy both and just kept this, and just sit it in a living room somewhere forever. Um, and I thought one day I'll buy it again, and I made posts on Facebook to try and find where this bike was, um, and I could never find it. I contacted the person I, um, I sold it to, and he wanted nothing to do with me. Uh, just kept ignoring me, wouldn't tell me any details of when he sold it, because I, I actually saw it on eBay, and he had sold it the day before, so I just missed out on it. I thought one day, one day it will pop back up, or one day I'll see it. And that day came recently. Um, I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe my eyes. It just I have it set so on e uh, eBay, Facebook, and everything. I get a notification when a Duke comes up. Not, the not one just, two five. Not just your phone. You've also set it on my. Oh, phone. I set it on your phone as well. Yeah, you did. <laughs> um, so I get constantly emails and notifications saying you know, a new Duke's out, and I always check. And one day, my old bike came online. And I saw it, and I couldn't believe it. I noticed the exhaust at first, and I flipped. And then, because um, it's pretty, pretty decent exhaust on there. And then I saw the number plate, and I went, that is my bike. And the only reason, it, it's, before you even try and look for it on eBay, it's already sold. Um, I didn't buy it. Uh, and we'll get onto that, why I didn't buy it, and what's happened to it. But, um, yeah, it's already gone. I've done this video a bit later, so you can't go and try and find the, the number plate of the bike. So why didn't I buy it? Well, this is it now. As you can see, it's not in any kind of condition of how I left it. Um, and the guy that was selling the bike was put it up originally for two and a half grand. This guy must be mental, okay? For one, I sold the bike two years ago, more than that, four years ago, for two grand. The guy I sold it to sold it for 1,800. So I know for a fact this guy bought it for 1,800 and he's trying to make a big buck on it. And I was like, nah. Because for one, he's wrapped it. Why he's wrapped it? Well, that's to hide the damage that he's done. I know that I crashed it and it has damage to the right hand side, which he wasn't advertising at all. So he's covered that up for one under the wrap. Um, he's smashed the front end and I've sent him so many messages. I was like, mate, this is my old bike. I know how much you bought it for, etc., etc. What damage have you done to it? Because I can see you smashed the front. And he was adamant that he hadn't broke it. He thinks it's in mint condition. When obviously you can see in the pictures it's broken. Um, it's not done many miles since I sold it. I think it's done less than a th thousand miles since I sold it. I think I sold it somewhere at 10,000. So something like that anyway. Um, he's got rid of the bar end mirrors. So he's obviously crashed it and then he broke and he got rid of them. Um... He's, he's, the number plate's held on by zip ties for some strange reason. Why? I have no idea. He's absolutely battered my, my little baby. And I thought, I offered him 1,500. And I thought, you know, at the time I'm that at now and I want to buy a new bike, I don't really want to be spending that. But I thought, I'll just put the quiver. And he wasn't, he didn't want it, he didn't want it, he didn't want it. And he knew he wasn't going to sell it. And eventually he accepted my offer. And I turned him down. I thought, it's just not worth it. I know for a fact that it's not my bike anymore and it just doesn't look like my bike. I wanted my bike back uh, and unfortunately it's not my bike anymore. It's been used and abused and, you know, sometimes you just got to move on from these things and it was just, it was just that realisation that it was never going to look like my bike anymore. It's all, you know, it's it's gone through so many owners and just been horribly abused now. Left outside in the horrible rain and snow and everything probably. So... Yeah, I will never be buying my, my, my Duke 125. I'm not going to search for it anymore. Unfortunately, it has gone. Um, so, yeah, that's the sad news. Um, but if you ever do see it or someone ends up riding my bike and um, somehow you're watching my videos and on my bike, um, I wouldn't mind riding it again for a video. I think that would be quite interesting, but I don't want to buy it anymore. I'm sorry. She's gone, so... 
This is a goodbye to the Duke. One, two, five. Hey guys, so this video isn't going to be a video that you want to see, but it's a video that I have to make. I have to do a proper send off for this bike because it has just been, it's just been an amazing bike. But unfortunately, now that I have passed my test, I do want to upgrade. I'd love to keep this bike forever, but there's so much potential out there. There's so many other bikes and I'm not someone that will keep to one bike. I think swapping out bikes every year is perfectly fine. Just getting experience on different bikes, seeing what you feel, seeing what you like. Especially going from the 125, you know, I've been stuck with this 125 for two years pretty much. Well, I've had it for a year and a half, I think. And, you know, there's so many other bikes out there, so that's why I bought the Grom, you know, have a bit of fun on that. And now I'm upgrading, getting a bigger bike, see what how I find on that. And then when I pass my test again when I'm 21, get an unrestricted license, I'll probably get another bike as well. But that's what I realised with this bike, it's just another bike. Like, obviously, yeah, it was my first bike that got me into into riding, really. And it's it's amazing. It's more than I could ever wish for. It's loud, it's flashy, it's powerful, you know, for a 125. It's, it's an amazing bike, but it is still just a bike, you know. I can always go and get another one, and it's that. So... I will always have memories of this bike, that's what's more important. I will have my videos that I've made, memories, the places I've gone to, the people I've met up with. The bike has brought in so many more people that, you know, I would have never expected by making this channel with this, this, this bike. So many people will, yeah, I love the bike, and I would never have expected that. But it is just a machine at the end of the day. But it always will be the one I treasure the most because it was the bike that got me into this. The first bike. It got me into vlogging, got me riding, got me all this experience, you know, it's it will always be close to my heart and I love this bike. But as long as I'm capable and still breathing, I will always still be riding. So there's so many bikes out there I wanna try out, you know, dual sport, super sports, freaking everything. I don't want to keep to one bike. Maybe one day I will I keep saying this, one day I might go out and try and find this bike and it'll probably be smashed up and ripped but I would love to just have it and just be able to look at it. But yeah guys, I will always have the videos of the KTM on my channel, I'm never going to get rid of them so if you ever want to go back and watch the KTM then always go and watch one of my other videos. Farewell to the KTM or as I call it Daisy, Daisy Duke. I've enjoyed the bike so much, I could never do a proper tribute because I'm never going to you know, on the spot talking, I just jabber on, really, but the bike has been amazing, and, you know, for all the people out there that are buying Dukes, or just gotten a Dukes, enjoy it, because it is an insane bike. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have, please hit the thumbs up button, please hit the thumbs up button just for the KTM, you know, just to see how many people actually did love this KTM as much as me. Comment down your favourite video of the KTM, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah.